Alrighty. So, we're going to do a few things here. Because um, I feel like not everyone can hear my voice because of the the volume, basically. So, we're going to go uh, it, yeah, here. No, not gameplay sliders. We're at user settings, maybe? Aha, there we go. Volume control. So, we're going to do broadcast. Uh, I guess we could custom right let's i don't know what that is in game to commentary we're gonna bring it down to like a 60 stadium speakers yes crowd uh stadium speakers we're gonna bring down to a, we'll do 60 as well on the field yeah we want that all the way up so we can hear music none menu as sound effects or whatever yeah we're gonna take that down so people can hear uh, actually, we'll, we'll leave it at 30. Okay. So, bam. Okay. Graphics. Can I make this better? Performance, image quality. So, what is this? Choosing the performance mode option ensures the highest possible frame rate for your gameplay. Okay. Uh, let's do that one. Okay. I'm gonna go back, here we go. A couple things I did not mention um, that I did kind of off screen is get ourselves some new tight ends. So where are we here? Bam, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go NFL rosters. I got rid of our boys Disley and that other guy, I, I, I forgot his name, but we kept these two, okay? So he was supposedly the number one tight end prospect for the 2022 draft. So we got him, okay? And we got him because he's a Washington uh, Husky, or was a Washington Husky. So we signed him for an $870,000 uh, contract, basically, in a 990. So, and then we got Cody Parkinson. You know what? I hate to do this, my boy. <sighs> Let's just go. Oh, he's on the trade block and nobody wants him? We're just going to release then. Yep, we're going to do it. Sorry, bud. We're out of here. Okay, so that's that's technically what I did off screen. So we're going against week two, the 49ers against Trey Lance and George Kittle. Let's get into this, man. Have we done our old uniforms? I think we have. And in the first season. Yeesh. Man, you can really see the threads on these. There's the 1990s, is that it? Yeah, wanna, wanna do these? Let's do this, okay? So then we're going to go back, and then we're going to do this one. What's their 1980s away? Is this home? I can't remember. No, they're away. So let's do that. Let's just do some old school uniforms, shall we? Seahawks leader at quarterback coming off a phenomenal eight touchdown game passing a mark most recently hit by Drew Brees it's the Seahawks and the Niners under the lights on Sunday night it's the National Football League presented by EA Sports Two teams here, each off to 1-0 and starts as this one is underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021. It's Trey Lance. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes and make no mistake about it. He was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. Down. Stop. Stop. 
Throwing first play is Lance. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Darryl Taylor got in there to drop him. Okay, partner. A couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football. But maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. Ready, Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. And Lance again going to keep it. Four yards there on the keeper, but still no this is something. Oh. Lance looking to throw it. And he will be back from the Alright. I don't even know if anything I said was recorded. If it was, I'm sorry to repeat myself. And if it wasn't, this is a long story short. I played uh, all, or what was it, pro last night. Recorded this same gameplay and was absolute garbage. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to go where it, the video is going to be me sucking every single game that we play. So I'm going to go back to my original plan that I was doing in uh, Madden 22 and trying to break all the records so that the Seahawks players are number one in literally everything. Passing yards, defense, uh, touchdowns, rushing touchdowns, rushing yards. Um, and the whole season, we're going to beat Jerry Rice's records, and we're going to have a Seahawk on every single one of those on the top lists of everything. So that's what, that's what happened. So, and I also got a tight end, if you guys haven't uh, heard that already. Got two of that. Cade. Otten, I think. He's from Washington. And then we got uh, Trey McBride. Oh, my God. What a run. And for those that have just joined my channel, I see that there are three, two or three new subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I didn't think I'd ever get 13 subscribers, um, but I appreciate it. Thank you. I really do. Um, I play a lot of games. I play a lot of Madden. I play the NBA games, which I kind of took a break from because obviously Madden 23 came out. Um, I play MLB, but I haven't started a series on that. Tried to. But it's just me pitching, and it just gets kind of boring. And my game completely froze. I don't know what happened. Uh, that's odd. It's always working. I don't understand what happened. Anyways, for those of you joining, Thank you. I hope you enjoy the video. It means a lot. Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, also, <laughs> we got one of the top quarterbacks in the draft in the game here. Um, I think his name was like McKenzie. Um, and get this, in the draft, so when we start our franchise and whatever, or, or the next, because we did season one already, we're on season two. Um, the Steelers ended up taking it. And so they had Trubisky, they had this McKenzie guy who was like basically all A's and B's down the board, right? Then they have um, Pickens, and it's not the other guys. Rudolph, I guess this is, and somebody else. But they had all these quarterbacks, and I'm like, oh God, so... Somehow I, I ended up getting, um, not McKenzie, but I ended up getting uh, Pickens. And so I changed Pickens, changed his appearance, changed his name, so now we have basically a Bryce Young. So that's how we got Bryce Young in the game. And for those of you who watched the Madden videos and liked Madden, you already know how it works. So. Also, I am calling it now. It is 7.37, Saturday, August 27th, 2022. I'm calling it now. Either this year we're going to get a surprise where the Seahawks are going to get these throwback 1980s uniforms, or 
it is going to for sure be in next year's season. And I cannot wait. And what sucks is I wish Russell Wilson would have been still on the Seahawks to be able to get that jersey because he's been wanting that for so long. And it would have looked so fucking clean, man. And that is my bro, Dusty Dan, who I have played on this channel before. Let's go ham. Oh, that's Hill. Sorry. That's from Hill. Look at him. He's all like, fuck yeah, I did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. That was not, that was not supposed to be a, 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 a run play, but all right. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is, uh, that is my bad. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down to about the 43 yard line. The guy who we're signing game. this year, we'll have to take a look. That's the new. So, in our second year of basically being the owner, I guess you could say, or the GM, or the coach, or whatever, we have made some great additions. Like, if this was real, the Seahawks, I'd be the best. I guess, person ever. <laughs> so from season one, these are the players that we had on our roster, okay? We went from Drew Locke, Geno Smith, and Jacob Eason. Okay, we gotta see what he's doing here. Oh, he could have done that. Our running backs, and we have three, Kenneth Walker, obviously, Travis Homer, and DJ Dallas. Our fullback was Nick Ballore, and then our wide receivers, we have Metcalf, Drake London, Dwayne Eskridge, Bo Melton, and Freddie Swain. Our tight ends were Noah Fant, Will Disley, and Kobe Parkinson. LTs were Charles Cross, who we just picked up in the draft this year, and Stone Forsythe. Uh, Damian Lewis is our LG. Our centers are Austin Blythe and Kyle Fuller. Right guards, Gabe Jackson and Phil Haynes. Right tackles are Abraham Lucas and Jake Kerhan. And then, um, sorry, I, I, I know football, but I can't really think right now. Our LEs are Shelby Harris and Jared Hewitt. Um, REs are Puna Ford and Quentin Jefferson. Defensive tackles are Al Woods, Brian Monet, and Matt Gotell. Our, our LOLBs are Uchenna Nuosu, Alton Robinson, and Tyreek Smith. Uh, middle linebackers are Jordan Brooks, Cody Barton, and Joel Ego Benyewi. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm butchering these fucking things here. Um, our RLB is Roquan Smith, Daryl Taylor, Boy uh, Mayfi, and LJ Collier. Again, I'm butchering these names. I'm sorry. Our CBs are Stack, Sauce Gardner, Sidney Jones, Trey Brown, Cody Bryant, and Tariq Young. Our free safeties, Andre Gibbs, Daxon Hill, Marquis Blair, and our SSs are Kyle Hamilton, Ryan Neal, Kipper, Jason Myers, and Michael Dixon. That was what, who we had in Season 1. And I'll tell you right now, our Season 2 roster is completely different. Uh, let's see here. And I'll have to re-edit it. But uh, in the next video, I'll, I'll probably most likely run down who we have in I'll kind of go over the season one roster quickly, and then I'll tell you who we do and don't have. But we've, we've made a lot of changes. I can already tell you right now that um, Ryan Neal is gone. Quandary Diggs is gone. Trey Brown is gone. 
Um, I believe LJ Collier is gone. Cody Barton, I believe we got rid of. Who else, man? I know we got quite a bit of people. Jared Hewitt is gone. Jake Curhan is gone. Phil Haynes is gone. Austin Blythe, I think, got rid of. Damian Lewis, I'm pretty sure, is gone. Will Disley is gone. Freddie Swain is gone. Uh, Nick Ballore actually retired. And then Travis Homer, we kept. But DJ Jalice is gone. And then Geno Smith and Jacob Eason are no more and there goes the penalty flag so that's basically the people that we got rid of and we kind of added either younger talent or better talent so i feel pretty good being a uh a gm right now don't tell me the game pros okay who was it bryce Young. that's my bad so bo melton is back on the field Come on, Bo. Catch that, baby. There you go, baby. Woo! You see that? <laughs> Was not expecting a touchdown, baby, but we'll take it. One of the good rookies that we had this season. I hope he makes it on the uh, 53 year last year. Be great. All right, so we're up to a 10 0 lead with 4 12 in the second quarter, and I don't know if that's going to make it or it gets it I love our stadium, man. Bright, beautiful. I believe there's more seats, and look at that. It's just like a bowl shape. I love it. Taking it at the three. Ooh, damn. There's one thing I wish we had. It's something like LA, where it's an open stadium, but it's not. You know what I mean? Or at least have a retractable roof, like I believe Arizona has. I know um, T-Mobile Park has a retractable roof. It's really cool to get a bigger stadium where you can see more. I think it doesn't look like it because I've been there now it's now Looney Field, but I've been there multiple times and it does not look like 60 some thousand people sitting out there. Run the rest. Now third and long, they to throw. It is. Incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, three minutes until the end of the second quarter. This game just seems like it's flying by. All right, man. Here we go. Oh, we, we kept swinging. I thought we got rid of him. Whoops. Okay. I stand corrected, guys. So we literally have our whole right receiver core. We have all two, four, five of them. Cool. Where am I at? 48 yards on me. Two yards the loss, second and 12. What I would like to go for in season two is to get all of our main Again, it's positions right. in first place. So I want our rushing, our passing, um, our touchdowns, you know what I mean? Sacks, all that. I want all of our boys to be number one on the leaderboards. Is it possible? Uh, I think it is. All right, fan, you really haven't had much luck, but you're not. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now gonna use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we oh, I didn't want to do that. Nope. I didn't want to put. I'm rambling too so much, guys. I'm rambling too much. So four verticals here. They'll try and throw for it here. This is gonna be bad. Oh fuck, man! God. 
CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the oh, team. Oh, man. Like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that that's ball. That's a perfect no spiral, too. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. My cat is so going to take this away from me and just scare me. There we go, Jones. Right where you left off, baby. I gotta check out his contract and see when we can resign him again. I I cannot wait to resign him. Um, for those new subscribers who have not seen season one of Madden 23, I'm telling you right now, and I'm not saying that just to say it. The amount of insane records that we broke in that game. Most points ever that I personally played, 128 points to zero, I think it was. Um, Sidney Jones had 21 interceptions in 17 games, followed closely by Sauce Gardner, who had, I think, 17 or 18. Bro, it, it, and what blows my mind is that Sidney Jones was rated lower in last year's line than he was this year, and all of a sudden, he is balling out. Oh, we got an injury here. Maurice first. That's not good. I think we can get some. Get in there, baby. Get in there. Two touchdowns, baby. Yes, Lord. Kind of sad that we got rid of Andre Diggs, but um, the reason why we did is even though he had some great interceptions, uh, was balling out at a high level, we had a younger competitor, basically. He's, he's young. You know, Diggs is 32, 33 years old. This boy is 23, 24. It's either Daxton Hill or Kyle Hamp Hampton that's taking up his spot. But young guys getting interceptions like crazy. Ooh, sauce. Nice deflection, buddy. I'm going to try to run it back this year. Nicely done, guys. Yeah, Marquise Blair, we still have. Okay. He is young. Like, surprisingly, he's been on the team realistically for three years, I want to say. Three or four years, and we still have him. And he's only 24. 23 or 24. Young kid. Still does good. As well, I should say. Here we go. Let's go. Let's end it. There you go. Let's let's get into the second so half, guys. Time and what, well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this week two contest, so we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of quarter three. And we welcome you back Excited. now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Seahawk offense set to go to begin this third quarter. We really got to get our boys some stuff. Charles, they've got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, there were three talking points at the half, partner. All, right, All of them were about turnovers because... They're better than this. They're not, they're not that good. Come on, get at least a... Oh, there we go. 94 yards. Let's get some more, baby. guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting... You've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dive things back. Get in there. Again? 
Man, pull him out. Get him out of here, man. Rest him up. Three catches. Two touchdowns, man. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these All right, Metcalf. Let's give you your first catch here of the game. Get in Oh, yeah, they're stacked. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh, so close. So close. Second and goal from the one. They'll look to throw. Ooh. I don't know. They might challenge that. No. I, for some reason, I don't think he had it, but... Hey, I'm not going to argue that. Oh, yeah, that's Let's see if we can get a younger coach, too. This guy's kind of a fill-in. And I kind of don't want him to be... <laughs> as fucked up as it sounds, I don't want him to win a run with the team. You know what I mean? Somebody better. Come on, Lance. What do you got? To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. <laughs> Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He shows you right Hill there. seems to be just cover in the secondary from that a little slow. Position. Yeah, the evolution of position has really been significant, I'm not, isn't it? Because I'm not sure what's going on there. Have a free safety, strong safety designation. They suck safeties. So right oh, sh that's my fuck up. So many wide receivers. That was my He's fuck up right there. I, I don't know what I was doing. Do his damage here after the catch. Yeah, this is what nice play and nice play on Gardner getting that foot. Look at going the long way to a short way after oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His ability to do that, evident. Able to make the catch there. Keep his momentum going. Touchdown. Fuck. Who's that, Ayuk? Yep. Ayuk. His second touchdown on the season. And the 49 are able to make some inroads here. We're going for two? Okay. It's not going to work. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Me and my damn mouth. Well done. That, that was my fuck up. Oh, no fucking way. Team's putting in work. So at the bottom of your screen here, it looks like Denver beat the Dolphins 37 to 31. You also have New Orleans Saints beating the Falcons 38 to 21. With James Winston at the helm there. I don't think the Falcons are going to do too so much this, again after the this year. I, I can see them winning maybe five, six games, if that. I really haven't checked out their schedule, but yeah, we speaking of games here. So, finally I'm in the fantasy draft thing, and uh, I'm a little upset. For some reason, uh, I did the same app last year. I was the commissioner then. Everything kind of seemed to work. Uh, this year, I set it for two nights ago. Um, start at 5.30, right? Well, 
some reason I had it on auto. And as soon as 5.30 hit, everybody already had three <laughs> free draft rosters. So I made a few trades. What? And this is what my starting lineup is uh, for Thursday, right? Thursday Night Football. I have Josh Allen. I got Aaron Jones. Eckler, who I'm trading away. I got Cooper Cup, Jamar Chase, who I traded for. Um, Mark Andrews is my tight end. I also have Debo Samuel. T Bass is my kicker from Buffalo. And I got the Miami Dolphins. On the bench, like I said, it's not for certain right now. Uh, I have Tom Brady, Lamar Jackson, Najee Harris, who I traded away for, and I'm trying to get uh, Jonathan Taylor and Reese Hall for, which is a person okay to trade. So I'm like, all right. Uh, I got Mac, or is it Mac Williams? Mike Williams, Darren Waller, and the Rams defense. So I'm projected to go 234.63 points compared to 172.67 for my competitors. So. Oh, fuck. That never happens. Fuck you, Kittle. You little bitch asshole. Are you really going for two again? Come on, guys. There you go, baby. Oh, please let this go. Please. There we go, baby. Hundred and some yards, right? That's a rare seat and two. Oh, and we get the ball? What? No fucking way. He does it again. Holy shit. Freddie swinging. Cowboys beating the Washington Commanders, I can see that. Like, look, this is what's sad, okay? We'll talk about Cowboys for a second. My buddy, Sully, um, if you look on our YouTube video, there was a, a video of Warzone where they were just talking. I think it says some, something about fucking funny or funniest video ever. Whatever. That's him, the one that kept talking and talking and talking and talking. That's Sully. So he loves Cowboys. He's from Dallas area. He's a Cowboys fan for life. And I always basically fuck with him and saying, look, you have the easiest division and the Cowboys should be the ones that beat his other teams in this division. They, they should be. And they should be going and being number one in, you know, every single season. But I just I don't understand, man, but there's so much hype about it. And they, they, they win games but I just don't see him being in the Super Bowl again, man. What is going on, man? That's two or three times now where my cornerbacks and free safeties could have grabbed an interception, but they didn't. Alright, boys. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back oh, right side. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield strike. Sermon, huh? Come on, defense. Got to do a little better than this. Give me a press. 
just one for six. This will be third and six. From midfield, here's Lance. Nice. As he throws there incomplete. Really? Yep, 19. In the fourth, man. Wow. Bro, we're letting Trey Lance get 158 yards on us. Kobe Bryant with the sack. Okay. Make yourself a name. After the sack on first down, Lance. There we go, baby. Let's go, baby. Go to the house. Go to the house. This is why you're gonna pay him big bucks, man. We're gonna make him the number one highest paid safety for a quarterback ever. And you guys are gonna be like, dude, you spent all of your fucking money on the quarterback. Well, I'm 98% sure that's, that's gonna happen. Just so. Seven to fourteen. Hey, you know what? At so least you're scoring points on it. It's not a complete blowout every single away. game. So that's alright. That's fine. Fielded just outside the goal line, and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the twenty-three. And San Francisco so gets set to go here. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six. And they switch it up for a blitz. On the cake, so to speak, and what has been a rough go for them. Meanwhile, Lance's throw pulled in by Kittle. Oh, yes, That's a game of four huh? as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Throwing again on second down. Lance. There you go. Three sacks for Roquan. Roquan Smith. Stick at the house, baby. Sit on that leaderboard early. Question for you guys: What are what are some likes and dislikes about Madden 23? You guys feel like it's the same? You feel it's different? Does it meet your expectations? Curious. I want to know. Again, remind you, this guy has never dropped the ball yet. He's never fumbled. And that's including last season as well. So, watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jinx it now. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Jesus. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the Come first. Come on, brother. Come on, Walker. On third down, here's Walker. Oh, fucking man. And finally, they get to the ground, but it's all the way down at the Niners' 10-yard line. All right, Metcalf. Bada bing, bada boom. And the college continues. It's another touchdown. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2 0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well, there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's a blowout. Difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24 hour rule. Because we're going to get next week. Minute and five seconds left. 
Let's see what the San Francisco 49ers and Trey Lance are going to do. Will they at least take another stab at a touchdown? Are they going to run the ball? It's going to happen. Come on, Trey. Try to get 200 yards if you can. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my timeouts on them just to give them all these chances. I want I want to see what they do. So Hamilton, Hill, I think Sauce Gardner got the interception at the two point conversion, and then Sidney Jones. How many now? Look at this. Two of them. Double coverage that you decide to throw. You're supposed to make dumb, all the dumb. right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you're going to have to play a side end. That hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. They'll set up a throw. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, I, I knew it. I knew it. That's all right. That's all right. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Let's just fuck him up in the end zone here. Ooh. Way to go, Brown. What an interesting game, man. We intercept them at the two-point um, conversion, basically. Take it to the house. That's 12 seconds left. Perfect. We love our 12. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Buying time to his left. Now he'll turn and throw the team. Oh, come on, man. We are literally getting fucked by these interceptions, man. I wanted Bryce Young to have a good season with no interceptions. We already fucked it up. One final try now for Lance. And that's it. Game's over. First rivalry game in the books with the dub. Six game, 22 percent completions, four touchdowns, 183 yards. How many interceptions? I don't, even want to know. don't even. I don't want to know. It was bad. It was bad. Okay, so what was I gonna do here? I can't remember what I was gonna do. Ooh, we're playing the Steelers, huh? I wonder if that McKenzie guy is their uh, starting quarterback. Mm -hmm. It's my guess. I mean, they drafted him first overall, so they should use him. Unless they went with the Trubisky, but that'll be weird. All right, so our weekly awards. Oh, yeah, we we're going to check to see our, our signings. Sidney Jones, three tackles, two interceptions, and a touchdown. Boy, you've been balling since season one, man. All right, D. Quigley. Oh, we got a new quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. 21 for 32. Okay. 288 passing yards, five touchdown passes, one sack, six carries for 22 rushing yards. Damn. Way to go, bro. That's something you don't see. Uh, here we go. We got two players to negotiate. Who do we got? Oh, here we go. We got Jordan Brooks and Noah Fant. Do we have? I want him, yes. We're going to check to see. Uh, yeah, Jacob Eason. Eh, my bad. I thought we got rid of him. We did. Here we go. Jordan Brooks, age 25. He really wants to resign with us. 
Um, he wants $30.3 million over five years, so a total of $54.8 million. That's the initial offer. And then a signing bonus of $24.5. He is a superstar. So let's, let's get into it. Let's just see. The neutral is five years at a base salary of 6.1 a year uh, with a bonus of 4.9. So that's just medium risk. Low risk is a player-friendly option, which is six years, seven million with a 5.6, okay? Or very low risk is seven years, 7.6 million with a 6.1. So look at this. Oh, and I even breaks it down to you? Okay, so let's, let's start over here again. Here we go. So you got team-friendly, which is a high risk, okay? So... Great for cap space, but the player is unlikely to accept. So the breakdown is in 2024, he'll get 4.66 million. 25, 5.18, 26, 5.76, and 27, 6.4. For total, 22 million. But our cap hit is 39.6. Yeesh, we don't want that. So if I do low risk the player will, will like this offer and the player may accept less so he's 25 so he'll be 31 so he will play so he'll get 11 per mil 11 million per year excuse me a expected value that's not bad and our depth is cody barton that joel guy and then john radigan um But our cap hit is going to be 75.6 mil. If I go seven, let's. Ay, ay, ay. Let's do 7.5, okay? Let's let's just see if he'll take that, okay? He's a stud, but let's let's do this. Perfect. I'm excited to sign uh, such a great offer and to stay with the team. Well, thank you, man. We appreciate it. Noah Fan. So he's kind of on the like, uh, you know. He's 25. He's young. He's an 84. He is a silver superstar. Let's do um, do that at six mil six mil let's see what you say okay cool he'll take it i like it um who are we gonna get rid of here for sure you so let's go player card i'm just gonna put you on the draft board or the He's still on there. Nobody wants him. Sorry, bro, but we're going to... Let's just release you. Uh, okay, uh, let's just trade away. For, I don't know. Um, uh... Twenty twenty four round seven. Seventh round pick. Cool. And they won't take it. Okay, so I don't like that. Get rid of you. Okay, there we go. Boom. And you give us up. um Do you have a center that I could take? What is he, 25? What about what about him? Cool. So we replace him with the center. That's fine. We got rid of a quarterback. We don't need him. Doing good. All right, check out the news here. Uh, Buccaneers, uh, Johnson shut down. Okay, so what else? Anything good? 
That's funny. Free safety Walker the third injured. Lions confirmed. So there's a free safety name, something Walker the third. That's that's cool. Um, Broncos defend home field in week three. Seahawks and Steelers. Who's ready? All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's check out the league here. We are down. Any undefeated teams besides us? Yes, the Raiders, the Bengals, the Denver Broncos, which I'm excited for, the Bucks, the Panthers, and the Saints. So there's quite a bit of teams that are 2-0 and right now. Um, last season, I was really hoping for the Broncos to make it. They were in the fourth seed in the playoffs. And then they just lost after that, and it was it was it sucks because they were in the third I think third seed, and then they went down to the fourth, and then they just completely just disappeared, man. Um, so that sucks. So here we go, passing leaders. Our boy is not on there. What the fuck? Okay, Kenneth Walker is second place. Okay, Ezekiel Elliott is banging out. Um, our wider receivers are not on there, and Roquan Smith is on there with five sacks. Anybody else? Sidney Jones has four interceptions. Everyone else has two. Sweet. I like that. Whoops. I don't know what the fuck I just did there. Um, but that's about it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. We're going to be at Heinz Field, which it's not called Heinz Field now. It's, I forgot the name of it. It's a funky-ass name. Um, but... We're going against the Steelers. We're going to see who their quarterback, who they chose as a quarterback to play against us. So thanks again for watching the video, guys. Thanks for the new subs. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, also, real quick before I go, if you want to donate to me, all my information is in the comment section or in the uh, description below. Um, it's hard times right now. It's, you know, I'm, I'm buying these new games, and obviously I don't have to. But I do it because I enjoy making content for you guys, and I appreciate the love and support. Thank you, all 13 of you. Um, I know it's a small number, but to me it means a lot. That means there's 13 of you guys that, you know, enjoy somewhat of what I do. Um, thank you. I, I, I'm working on my commentary. I'm working on my gameplay. Um, but the money would help. Uh, I usually don't really ask for a lot of money. I've done it in a few videos. Um, but it would mean a lot if you guys could just donate, you know, helping each other out. If, if you can't do it, please, by, by no means, do not donate if you are going through hard times like I am and going through struggles. Don't do it. I will not take any offense. But if there's those of you out there that can um, and have no problem with that, it would mean a lot. Um, whether it's a dollar here, ten dollars there, a hundred dollars, it doesn't matter. It's just, it's a, it's a... It would mean a lot, basically. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care of yourselves, guys. Stay safe out there. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace.